Hi, I'm Enchanting Nubianette. On October 19th, 52-year-old Judge Andrew Wilkinson was unalived. Unfortunately, the suspect, 49-year-old Pedro Ogote, allegedly sought revenge regarding a divorce and child custody case. Days later, he's still on the run. Now, before I begin this new story, just remember to hit the notification button, like, and subscribe to my channel to view relevant content. Let's continue. Now, the circuit court judge, Andrew Wilkinson, was just outside of his car in his driveway. He lived in Hagerstown, Northwestern Maryland. His wife and son were standing at the doorway when the homicide occurred. When I first heard the news, I thought to myself, someone from one of his cases has ill will against him. And for a few hours, everyone wondered who got revenge or who is against this judge. There was a court case in which Judge Andrew Wilkinson made the decision to protect the suspect's wife and children. Pedro Ogote and his ex-wife were involved in a domestic violence dispute that began in June last year. Judge Wilkinson presided over this case. He believed Pedro Ogote caused harm to his wife and perhaps his children. I don't know the specific details of this case. However, Pedro Ogote was considered very aggressive and unstable. Judge Wilkinson granted Pedro Ogote's wife the home they shared and granted her full custody of the kids too. Pedro Ogote was ordered to move out of their home. He doesn't have any visitation, no contact with his children and no home to go to. But he has mandatory child support payments of $1,120 a month to his ex-wife. And on the court day, the decision was determined, although the perpetrator did not attend. So this disgruntled ex-husband learned that his former wife was given full custody of their children and he needed to move out of the home they once shared. About 8 p.m. on Friday, Pedro Gote followed. Somehow, he tracked, he followed him, and showed up to Judge Wilkinson's house. Pedro Gote released his rage by using his weapon. He fired it multiple times. Unfortunately, Judge Andrew Wilkinson passed away at the scene as a result of just doing his job. Judge Wilkinson has only been serving as a circuit judge for about three years. Pedro Gote is a calculating predator to commit M because of the judge's decision. I could only imagine how horrible he was towards his wife and children. Instead of accepting his responsibilities and changing life, he commits a federal crime, this homicide. Afterwards, Pedro Ogote fled the scene his former wife and children must be in hiding. There's no way this predator will leave them alone. And of course, law enforcement, I'm sure, has placed them in protective custody. Currently, there's a manhunt on him, out for him, so he can be held accountable. Pedro Gote is 5'7", 130 pounds, with black hair, dark brown eyes, and he was driving a 2009 Mercedes SUV. Recently, the Mercedes SUV was found in Williamsport, empty. Williamsport borders West Virginia near the Potomac River, and a tactical unit has been searching up and down for this suspect. There's no trace of him yet. Sheriff Albert shared with the public that Pedro Ogote is indeed armed and dangerous. This man seems to have ditched his SUV to hide. Maybe he's in the woods, in a hotel, maybe someone's home. Perhaps he's taken mass transportation or will steal someone's car. Most likely, Pedro Ogote is carrying the weapon he used on Judge Wilkinson. And residents and homeowners in Maryland area need to be very careful and on the lookout for him. 
Pedro Gote lacks normal coping skills with being forbidden to spend time with his own family. And this outcome has proved to be very difficult for him. Perhaps similar individuals feel the same way. It's hard for them to bear. In my opinion, he shows typical traits of an abuser. He's controlling, manipulative, and calculating. He definitely could not cope with the separation from his wife, his ex-wife and children, plus the back and forth paperwork process, opposing counsels and attorney fee fees, which increases litigation expenses. Now, during this time, there are tons of men, hundreds of thousands, who are angered because they have experienced a similar result. Even husbands and fathers who are not involved in a domestic violence case. Most men in the U.S. believe the state is benefiting financially from their cases. Family court affects men and in recent times more women than in the past. They have experienced financial losses, great hardship because of this. It's structured to support and protect children. However, it does leave a bad taste in the mouths of most men. Many will never marry or have children again. A majority of the population who has received the ruling of no contact, no visitation by the court, they truly believe that the U.S. courts unlawfully weaponize child support laws. Now, should judges hire bodyguards for protection? In my opinion, yes. What do you think? Please leave your comments below. I would love to hear from all of you. And remember to hit the notification button, like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a million and stay safe wherever you are.